This nurse went to the bank to collect $28,000, but when the teller saw what she had in her hand, she didn't hesitate to call the police. Is there an issue? Uh, possibly. We're going to take a look here. Okay. Yeah. And what is the issue? Uh, we just want to make sure that this is a proper document. Okay. The suspicious woman thought that she would leave the place with a million-dollar loot, but her minutes of freedom were numbered. Hello, miss. You mean help with them right now? Yes. Okay. Yeah. She thought that all her documents were in order, but the bank teller noticed that some of her information may not be fully correct. Yeah, ma'am, do you have your ID on you? Um, no, um, that's the only one I'm getting in. Um, uh, another one. I'm waiting for the BMV to send me like the hard plastic copy. The woman was confident that all her documents were fine to withdraw some money from social protection but the police discovered a small detail that got her into serious trouble. You got this from the DMV? Yes. Okay. All right, give me just a moment, okay? Okay. Apparently, her information didn't match, and the police soon took measures. All right. All right, go ahead and turn off your pants. Oh, can I? Nope. I have to call. I, nope. I have to call. Right now, you're going to put your pants on your back. Okay, can I just put in this? My pocket, please? Just put, put it, it on the counter. Okay. Put it down. Okay. The officers noticed that the ID that the woman had was probably fake. Hey, I have to call my kids. Okay, we'll I have get to make sure who um, has my kids. Keep your know hands what's going on. Stop. Stop. The nurse thought that her documents were the right ones to request the $28,000 that allegedly belonged to her without problems. However, without the teller's warning, the woman would have broken the law and the consequences would be worse than expected. I don't know what the issue is. We're going to figure that out here, okay? Okay. According to the nurse, she was unaware of her situation, and now her main concern was for her children to find out about what had happened. Hey, I have to call my kids. Okay, we'll I have get to there. make sure who uh, has my kids. Keep your hands behind the back. Stop. On. After the law enforcement officers found the evidence, nothing could convince them to set the woman free until her innocence was proven. I've never been in a situation like this. Like, I'm completely confused. Like, and you're not even telling me what's going on. Your license isn't coming back to you. It's not, a, not an Ohio driver's license. It's a fake one. How is it fake? Apparently, the ID shown by the woman was fake. And at that moment, she had no way of proving the opposite. No, because Stop. that's a... Violation of privacy. Oh my no, God. Not. Yes, it is. No. Now, her freedom was at risk, and the police's resolution was crucial to find out what her destiny would be. Please let no. go of me. You're hurting me, bro. Hey, whoa, okay, I, I am. Can you please let go? No. Please let go of me. No. Please let go of me. Please let go. You're hurting me. Go ahead and take a seat. You're hurting me. The woman was in serious trouble and wouldn't be released until the police got to the bottom of it. You want to go ahead and read her her rights and let her know what's going on, see if she wants to answer any questions? Oh, yeah. Give me a second. I'm sorry. I'm thinking of Miranda here. Let me get, make sure I got it right. Well, Here's who she actually is. The officers were wondering, if the ID was fraudulent, then who was she really? I need to call for my kids. All right. We can take care of that later, okay? Okay, how? What's So you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. Apparently, the woman was passing herself off as another person and wanted to cash their social security money. Okay, I have one question. Am I allowed a bond? You have the right to an attorney if you cannot afford one. Am I allowed a bond, though? This we'll what I'm we'll get all this stuff figured out. The woman seemed to be aware of her situation, but she realized that her plot had been uncovered. Do you have any questions right now just i need to make a, a couple phone calls we'll get that figured out later okay. okay the officers didn't trust the woman anymore they knew that she had lied and was plotting something else do you want to answer wow. any questions about what's going on here today no i don't no okay. I don't I'd rather be quiet because you guys are known to trust. her constant denial didn't help her credibility so the officers were determined in their following decisions um, I do have one question. When am I going to be able to get my belongings? Excuse me. Excuse me. 
Excuse me. The woman had no choice but to wait for the court's resolution. The socials that are in there belong to me and my children. And you can look that up and you'll see that that's proof. Those socials are my children's and mine. However, the investigation carried out by the police proved that their suspicions were true. Okay, it's just under that other lady. Yeah, it's under someone else's name. The nurse was arrested and accused of robbery, forgery, and fraud. Hello? How much time can I get for this? That I don't know. That's up to a judge. The officers proved that her ID was fake and that she had been using it to commit other crimes. However, when she was interrogated, new things came to light. During the interrogation, she claimed that a man she met on Facebook had supplied her with the check, promising her $2,000 to cash it. In the beginning, the nurse seemed very certain about her testimony. However, she was always aware that she was committing forgery and fraud. Although her sentence won't be long because the crime wasn't fully committed, the next time, she will think twice before trying to dodge the state's laws.